Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yo, Wolves Den. Yeah. It's your boy, Lots Wolf, and I'm back at it again with another reaction. Y'all, A Cal, Mises, featuring Tom McDonald. Hangover Gang, we eating good. Mises fans, we eating good. A Cal fans, we eating good. And if you're a fan of all three, oh, we eating good, baby. A Cal and Mises coming out with a collab album, but they put the boy Tom on there. That. 2024 in music has just been amazing, especially if you if you're just a lover of music, like all the music that has came out. I feel like an influx of music has came out in 2024. So thank you, Cat Williams, for starting 2024 off with a bang. That being said, y'all, before we get started, I invite you guys to hit that thumbs up. You got that right. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't for more reactions. Don't forget to hit that bell to be notified. Comment, share. All that. I appreciate the love and the support. But we're about to get into this. A Cal, Mises, Tom McDonald, Mirrors. First time reaction. Let's get this shit. Looked and behold a pale and I oh, oh, what is it doing? And I. You two started bucking out. There we go. And I looked. Pop out. And behold a pale horse. And his name that said upon him was death. Mm. And hell followed with him. You ever get depression? Face goes blank, no expression. Dealing with some demons, they aggressive. Looking at the gun, I'm the dresser. Got a question, will these thoughts stop if I press it? I don't really want to off myself. Mm. Already coming out the gate, running with some real shit. Some of the internal struggles that a lot of people go through. And that line right there, just if I pull it with the thoughts in, like, man, man, came out spitting some truth. We got to buckle up for this one. I need a shot of energy. Whoever get depression, face goes blank, no expression. Dealing with some demons, they aggressive. Looking at the gun, I'm the dresser. Got a question, will these thoughts stop if I press it? I don't really want to off myself, but I often sit and think. Gotta shed a tear like a drop from a faucet sink. Need to talk to a shrink, walk with a priest. Want to fight everybody when I walk down the street. Want a problem? Fuck you, your honor. Never had a father, made me crazy. Motherfucker uh. came and swinging like Muhammad Ali Frazier. Born in 1980, started rapping way before I ever... Woo! A-Cow came with the flow switch on that double time, though. Or boys are like a fucking AK. Oh. Boys are like one of the AK. He's like one of them semi-automatics. I guess I like an LMG. Yo, he was spitting. I gotta run that back. You, your honor, never had a father, made me crazy. Motherfucker came and swinging like Muhammad Ali Frazier, born in 1980. Started rapping way before I ever heard a shady. Mmm, started, bro, started rapping before I ever heard a shady. But he said, came in swinging like Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier in the 80s. Oh my gosh. Muhammad Ali Frazier, born in 1980. Started rapping way before I ever heard a shady. I ain't even know white dudes rap. Thought you had to be black for that. Had to fill these starter jacket with the hat to match. I was rapping way before I heard the aftermath. I've been Ooh. feeling crazy, but I think he answers to some of those saying that that you only you know you rap because of your inspirations from Eminem. You're only rapping because Eminem made you. And he's like, no, I was I was rapping before Shady, before I knew who he was. I was rapping before I heard of aftermath. I was just rapping, but I didn't really come out there with it because I felt like rapping was just for black people. You, shit. If anything, Shady paved the way for a lot of white artists to believe that they can compete and also be in hip hop, which me personally, they can. Any fucking culture can. Hip hop is transcendent. Rap is transcendent. That shit, wherever it, wh whoever can do it, do it. It's going to reach who it needs to reach, period. And he's just talking some shit right here. He's just letting you know, like, I was doing this shit before then. If anything, motherfucker paved the way for me to just do my shit. The aftermath. I was rapping way before I heard the aftermath. I've been feeling crazy, but I've been acting like I got it all together. 
Mm. I've been down lately, but maybe someday I'll get my act together. Made it through the bad weather. They was okay, but I had. Mm, I like that. You sit to the mirror. Act together. Made it they often say mirror mirrors are 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 gateways to other realms, or it could be a gateway to an alternate reality of yourself. So I like how here he's you know looking around uh, a torn, battered house from the past. And then you have his other self looking at him. I just, I'm just liking the way things, things are shot and the way anybody in music leaves, leaves it for interpretation. I feel like the only person who truly knows what everything is about is, of course, the artist. But I love how we all can have opinions and interpretations, but hear the same thing. Through the bad weather, they was okay, but I had better. I don't like to look in mirrors, cause I don't like looking at my Oh I don't look at my face. I don't look at my face. Oh shit, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting the screaming from Adam. This shit is nasty. What the fuck? I don't like to look in mirrors because I don't like looking at my face. Ooh. Let's go. Oh, we got two other people to track. Let's go. Hey, this hook is nasty. Let's go, Mises. Why so aggressive? Say it with my chest this so they get the message. I don't mean to text best if you just look away. Or I make your head twist like an exorcist. Woo! Waking up from nightmares, heart thumping God. Are you hearing my prayers? Cause I hear thunder. And I don't really like mirrors. Someone stares back at me looking like my fear. The only I don't like mirrors. Something staring back back at me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is the realest shit. I think a lot of people have been in a time in their life where they've looked in the mirror and just was not happy with who was looking back at them in the mirror. And at that moment, it's a fork in the road, a road for you to do something about it. So the next time you look in the mirror, you're happy with who you see, or you do nothing about it, and you continue down that toxic, that toxic path that you create for yourself. A lot of people don't understand that they create a lot of the things for themselves, and then they wallow in it. And then they continue to let everything else enable it you gotta break them chains and like i said i love artists i love music that makes you think for a time back there looking like he about to turn super saiyan and drop and and, and drop a verse of of, of, a, of his life i swear he does he back there he look he back there plotting on the song he he motherfucker back there plotting he over here like bruh it's going down Oh, for the, like Super Saiyan right now. Super Saiyan time. Oh, look like my fear. It's G O T and the old me drunk a O E. And I don't know if you aware, but I've been slowly numbing pain like an old D. I'm cold. Oh, that numbing the pain. Oh, that bar. I've been slowly numbing pain like an old D. I'm cold. Oh, it's like it's 106 and park medicating sins with some gin. Never hit the scar trying to end part. Part of my heart with my heart with the dark. Feel like darts and I don't know where I should start. Cause I've been feeling crazy, but. I've been acting like I got it all together. Oh, this hook. I've been down lately, but yeah. maybe someday I'll get my act together. I hear all three of them on the hook. They all three lay down a vocal track of this and then combine it for that harm the harmonizing. That shit is epic. That's epic. I literally can decide like hear all three three voices. I've been down lately, I like how they did that. Maybe someday I'll get my act together. Made it through the bad weather. They was okay, but I had better. I don't like to look in mirrors, cause I don't like looking at my face. I don't look at my face. I don't look at my face. I don't look at my face. I see you looking at my face. Ugh. 
I'm mentally unstable, unable to get a grip. Bet my guardian angel probably thinks I'm a piece of shit. Got a mountain of problems, and I've been standing on a cliff. Thinking maybe I should jump and tell everybody I tripped. Can't admit uh. it, but I'm sick. The prescription pills that I get getting harder to swallow, and I don't feel like I'm fixed. I'm slipping further and further into the grip of a pit I've been digging since I was nothing, a little six year old kid. Now I'm growing, Ooh. I'm seeing ghosts of the man I used to be before I fell into this hole full of bones. I'll be getting stoned, and it helped me cope with everything beautiful. Oh, I love this. I love how everyone here has had a pass, but has has came out for the better. And I like how with all of them, it's like, for me, now this is my interpretation, y'all. This is my opinion. For me, of course, like I said, mirrors are portals, but for them, they're like, I've done so much. I don't like looking at my face in the mirror because I don't like who I've been, maybe who I've become. I don't like looking at my face because we all have been there, like I said, where we've done things to where we're just not happy with who we are. And sometimes the mirrors will give you that point of view of looking and then you being like, man, I do not like who this is. But at the same time, your past is a journey you took on the way to your destination that turned you into who you are, either for the better or for the worse. And seeing three huge independent artists, one, coming together, two, I'm guaranteeing you pushing each other to, to make their skills better, but three, to be able to, to some people, and it's not in a bad way. Some people are really starstruck. You know, they have put these three on a pedestal. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I'm saying is when certain people do that and to start looking at somebody as a celebrity, as a status, you forget that at the end of the day, they're still human. They've had a past. They've had troubles. They've had woes. They've done, they've done their dirt. They've been in some shit. But it's showing you that you can get out of that shit. And then having Tom talk about his prescription drug abuse, his, his, his abuse period. And then in the sunset, he's digging his grave. like He's digging his past grave because all his bones, everything is in there. And it's like sometimes you dig that shit back up just to remind, you, sit, remind yourself that you are him. This is the shit I've been through 10 toes down and I pulled myself out the fucking mud. That's what I get from this. We all have those mirrors we don't like. We all have a we all don't like looking at our own face. But can we do something about it? To the man I used to be before I fell into this hole for the bones. I'll be getting stoned and it helped me cope with everything beautifully. But I wish I would have known about the lows. I moved into the middle of nowhere. If I was you wouldn't go there, cause I just wanna be by myself. Now with some mountains and colder. I got my dogs and I don't care and I did everything by myself. See, I hey. be in nature, keep erasing my entire legacy of everything and being famous. I am not a celebrity, I'm a piece of paper that I scribble my thoughts on when they feel dangerous. Fuck you, I can see it clear. Used to want Hollywood, now I want to disappear. Every Ooh, I fuck you, I can see it clear. Oh my God, let's go, Tom. Let's go, Tom. <laughs> And being famous, I am not a celebrity, I'm a piece of paper that I scribble my thoughts on when they feel dangerous. Fuck you, I can see it clear. Used to want Hollywood, now I want to disappear. Everywhere I go, people looking at me weird. Every time I see a mirror, I can't look at myself. I've been feeling crazy, Ooh. but I've been acting like I got it all together. I've been down lately, but maybe someday I'll get my act together. And all of us has been there where we feel some type of way internally. But we keep a smile on our face like we got our shit together. And then this hook saying, maybe at some point I will get my shit together. But right now, all I'm looking at my face, I feel like this is the message for those who are in that limbo of, I, I need to change something, something. But I'm stuck. This is, this is that song to get unstuck. Made it through the bad weather. Day was okay, but I had better. I don't like to look in mirrors. Cause I don't like looking at my They dropped a banger. They just dropped a banger. 
these are the three people I didn't know that I would see come together as a trio and do a song together and didn't realize it was something I was going to need. Me personally, me personally, I've been doing this for about what, three years. I just didn't, if you would have told me that those three would have been on track together, I would have been like, what? I don't, I, don't see that, I don't see that they mesh. I don't think they mesh. And then it's like a song like this that makes you shut the fuck up and you're like, they mesh very well. Here's my sign. I like I understand why those three came together to do a song because those three have a past that they got out of that could be an impactful story. And if those three can talk about their past and talk about how they didn't like their face, how how they 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 went to prescription drugs and other things to try to escape, but realized it wasn't nothing to escape. They were just hating themselves, self loathing. They had to get out of it. Those are the three people I want to hear from about getting out of it. Well, shit. The, the, the independent music scene is making, is making mainstream music look like doo-doo. Independent music right now, in my opinion, is shitting on mainstream. Shitting. Not solid. Just loose <laughs> shitting on mainstream with no tissue. And I'm here for it. Y'all do me a favor. Let me know down in the comments your guys' interpretation and what you think about the song and how it made you feel. Also, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And let, hit that bell to be notified for some more reactions. And of course, if you haven't, go to my man Tom McDonald's, Adam Calhoun, Mises, respective channels. Hit them subscribe. Make sure we follow them. Show them some love and support. At the end of the day, these artists are bringing us art that we can sit here and digest and love and like. Period, point blank. Some people out there might not love or like any of their music, and that's okay. Music reaches the people it needs to reach. That's why I say it is forever transcending. Until next time, you know what time it is. It's your boy Locked Wolf. Always for it. Never back or saying shit back there for you. And delayed does not mean denied. Keep going. Keep pushing. If you haven't heard it, hear it from me. You're close. You're so close. Keep that shit up. Keep pushing. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Your boy is out. Peace.